Who is the bad guy? It's one of the first questions we ask when we're watching something, and it used to be pretty easy to answer. But recently, there's been a lot of shows about murder, and they all reposition who the bad guy actually is. And many of them are actually told from the perspective of the murderer. And there was a story this week about Jeffrey Dahmer and the new Netflix series about his life. And a lot of backlash because it humanizes him in a way that many people say maybe we shouldn't do when it comes to these bad guys. And it's one thing when we think about animated films and how they repositioned who the bad guy actually is. Then I have moment of clarity. If Zangief is good guy, we'll crush man's skull like sparrow's egg between thighs. And I say, Zangief, you are bad guy. But this does not mean you're bad guy. So the bad guy doesn't actually always have to be the bad guy. But what if that bad guy is a murderer like Jeffrey Dahmer? Should we be humanizing that person in a way that maybe makes other people feel like they could be a monster and humanized in the same way? Or is this really just a profile of someone who was uniquely mentally ill and therefore worthy of study so we can understand what made that person the way that they are? It's hard to know the answer to that. All we know for sure is that stories of murderers on screen are continuing to be as popular as ever, and I guess we just have to hope that they don't end up creating more monsters. I'm Rohit Bhargava, and this was my non-obvious story of the week.